Thanks for joining us. Rulemaking isn't easy, especially when you're talking about the Mississippi River Critical Corridor area. The DNR was directed by the 2013 legislature to rewrite the rules meant to guide development of the corridor. CTN Steve Antis was at an open house in Anoka, hosted by the DNR this week, and joins us now with more. Steve? Steve and Karen, the rulemaking process has been difficult for the DNR, which has created a complex set of draft rules meant to guide development along a 72-mile stretch of the Mississippi River Critical Corridor area, which cuts through the Twin Cities. Their meeting Wednesday night in Anoka was well attended. Nearly 200 people turned out for the second phase of a three-step process to rewrite the rules for Merca. There are different standards depending on the designated district where a property sits along the river. Coon Rapids is urban developed, which applies mostly to homeowners with river lots. DNR Commissioner Tom Landweir spoke about the process and assured people that their comments would be taken into consideration. Homeowners with river lots lined up to share their concerns over the draft rules. Retaining walls, this is important, retaining walls, riprap, or other erosion control methods must only be used for the correction of an established erosion problem. So if your trees are there today, you can't do anything, but if they fall in them, they'll think about it. How about a section that says the guys that have already armor plated their banks, you're not going to make them take the stuff out. I don't see any guarantees that the people that spent $75,000, $100,000 protecting their river banks are protected. The next meeting with uh, DNR to discuss the draft rules moves to St. Paul on July 22nd. If you can't make that, you can also email comments to the DNR. We have a link on our website at ctnstudios.com. Stephen Karen. All right, it seems like this process has been going on for many years now. Do we know when it will finally conclude? Well, formal rule adoption is expected early in 2015. Essentially, it will go to the governor and he'll review it and either approve or veto the rule. All right. Thank you, Steve.